What's good, all my Lions fans? And it's your boy 313 JMO. I, I had some things that I wanted to talk to you guys real quick. I want to say that the, uh, the the round table will be on my channel on Thursday. So all of you guys gonna make gonna want to make sure that you stop by for that. I will be uh, putting a, a post up later on so you guys can know about that. But I, I wanted to talk about how the Lions philosophically and religiously never use their weapons in the right fashion and how this year whatever the season is going to be this is something that's going to we're going to have to nip in the bud i was just watching a lot of uh older Lions game because of course you know I miss football like everyone else and I was just watching the way that we were using our weapons we would just tell Calvin we basically say Calvin run a route if you open it up we throw it to you and I was watching you know <clears throat> two games with uh, Reggie Bush from uh, 2013 and we like Reggie we just gonna keep giving you the ball and when I was watching those games, it just looked like it just looked like you know Stafford and uh, Calvin and Reggie was doing all the work, and nobody else was doing anything. Like like that uh, Cowboys game because I rewatched that was one of the games I rewatched. I mean Reggie Bush and Calvin Johnson they had like through like four quarters besides Chris Durham they had combined 300 plus yards. This was before Calvin even had 300 yards yet. They were combining 300 yards. All the targets was going to them. And I feel like we had other weapons on that team that we didn't use. Now, we did win that game. But that that's, that's, that's that. But I just feel like when I'm looking at this year, I'm looking at Jesse James. Jesse James is way too talented of a tight end to be on a milk carton like he was. Every Lions fan didn't know anything about Jesse James in football had high expectations for him thought he was going to come in here and be a very solid tight end no opportunity we didn't use our weapons tj hawkinson now people start shading him and following him and doubling tj hawkinson i know people don't want to believe that and sometimes when he was open he still didn't get the ball because we spread the ball around but regardless of all of that before he got hurt he definitely needed to be used a little more especially before stafford went down he definitely needed to be used a little bit more but he did get hurt early on, so he so he, he had to bounce back from that, but he wasn't used a lot. None of our tight ends were, were used a lot. Carry on, I mean, we used him out the backfield a little, but to me it should have been more. And now I'm looking at the fact that you're bringing in DeAndre Swift now. Um, you still have Marvin Jones. You have Amendola. You still have all of these tight ends. You still have guys like Jason Huntley. If, you know, Jamal Agnew makes his way on the roster, you still have guys like that for gadget plays. It's time to use the talent that we have. And not just on offense. I'm not just talking about scoring points. I'm talking about defense as well. I've been doing a lot of research on Jeff Okuda, and I'm believing more in Jeff Okuda the more tape I watch on this guy. There is no reason why he shouldn't be a successful extremely great football player but you got to get the talent out of these players and you got to use them correctly you need to be using him right you got to use J jamie collins in the right way you got to use Okwara right and of course i'm saying things that every lion fan no we all know you have to use your weapon right it's not rocket science but it's pissing me off to be honest with you lions fans because i'm watching all of these old games from from every year including last year and i'm just looking at a team that has a problem using our weapons on both sides of the football. Now, I'm going to show you something. Well, if you go watch that uh, the Cowboys game, they were talking about the way that Gunther Cunningham philosophy was uh, stopping the Cowboys' run on uh, first down. So he kept sending our uh, safeties the whole game like missiles to stop the run. And honestly, they did extremely great at it. <laughs> So my point is that at, at, in that specific game, in that specific scheme, he was using our safeties in ways that they could be successful. Now we've seen it happen uh, with the Lions sometimes. Our defenses have been used for them to be successful, but we also seen them fall short. And to me, you got to put people in positions of success and trying to build a winning football team as we always do. I just realized that the Lions have no idea how to use the talent. It ain't the quarterback's fault. It ain't. It is not the players' fault because these players go other places, and the defensive players, at least like uh, Calvin or Anthony Zettel, they'll they'll go be great somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? 
and I'm just looking at how we don't use our weapons on offense and we don't use our players in the right way on defense. So it's time for the Detroit Lions to learn how to use their damn talent and use it the right way so we can be a great football team because we got all this talent on paper, on offense at least. Like our defense on paper, it looks okay. But on offense, I know we'll be a top 10 offense, but to me it's not about being a top 10 offense. It's about being a consistent offense. It's about being a balanced offense. It's about using the weapons we have to be that consistent and balanced offense. So I think our coaches have a lot of work to do, and I've just been doing a lot of research on all of our games, and I'm upset with the way we don't use our talent to the best of our abilities on either side of the ball. That's something that we're going to have to nip in the butt for this year. But let me know what you think about that, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The Roundtable is on my channel tomorrow. It's your boy 313JMO. I'm out.